hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name is omalade okaito and i focus on faith travel and reviews and in today's video i'm going to speak about the strong friend this is a subject that's quite close to my heart and because I am the strong friend or was the strong friend <laughs> so I just thought you know what I'm gonna do this video and I'm sure it will relate to a lot of people first thing is first this is more based on the past and not the now I've got a great supporting system I've got great friends around me yeah, this is just more of the past and some of the things that I've experienced in the past and I just thought that it would just be useful to just share my knowledge on that and you know how I've got around it so I do have my phone, I've got my notes <laughs> so that I don't waffle. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. The button's just below, it's just below, please just click. Okay, so first things first, let's define the strong friend. The friend that everyone can always rely on. The friend that always seems like they have it all together. <laughs> As the strong friend, you are always the cheerleader and you hardly miss any important moments in others lives because you are the strong friend you barely ask anyone for help i don't know if anyone can relate but i sure can relate i was that person that for everything i will be there i will be there i cannot miss it eh? i can never ask for help oh gosh if i ask for help i'm being a burden on people <laughs> The cheerleader, I'm there, I'm there, cheerleading you on. Not saying that's a bad thing, by the way, but I can just relate to a lot of these points, and I'm sure some of you guys can relate as well. All right, so a bit of context about myself. So I used to be the glue to a lot of friendships. I'm that type of person that, say if an old friend sees me, they'll be like, how is so-and-so, how is so-and-so, how is so and I'll be able to be like, so-and-so is okay, so-and-so is this, so-and-so is that. And I'm just like, why do they always ask me that? Because they know the type of person I am. They know that I will still be connected and I will still be in touch with so-and-so. But obviously, after a while, people will be asking me and I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And which is true, I don't know. Like, I think as you grow, as you mature, you have seasonal friendships. Friendships become distant. It's just part of, like, life, right? But I was that person. I was that person. Not necessarily now. Like, if you ask me how so-and-so, I'll just be like, I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Anyway, Sha. Also, the connector. I don't do as much now, but, like, I'm great at organising. Like, we want to go out, we want to do it to we want to do something. I'm, like, fantastic. I know that that's a talent of mine that I have. But I had to drastically cut down because last year... May, <laughs> I was just doing, okay, uh, you know, different friendship with the, uh, I was just like, I need to calm down. I really need to calm down because I was getting burnt out and I was already stressed already. So I was just like, I just need to calm down and take a break. And you know, someone gave me really good advice and just said, take a break, man, just slow down. And I did and it's, it, it was great. Like I was able to recharge, I was able to realign, refocus and just give in to myself, just pour into myself because I have that tendency to be pouring into others instead of pouring into myself. So that's just a bit of context. Let me go on to problems with being the strong friend. Like I'm just going to keep it real. I got some notes from the internet, you know, thank you Google. Thank you. These are just some pointers. So you don't tend to get the support that you need. There is pressure to maintain being the strong friend. <laughs> you know, like when people call you and like they're suffering, they're going through a lot of things and they're just like telling you what they're going through. You have your own suffering. You have the, the your own things that you're going through. And you're just like, mm-hmm, yeah, I understand. I'm here for you. But inside you're crying. You're poor, like you are bawling inside because you've got so much stuff that you're going through mate that that's me <laughs> that that's been me <laughs> and me sometimes i can't lie of course i obviously don't mind being that listening ear. but it's just that maintenance isn't it you're you they don't know that you're like so sad as well about your own stuff too whenever you have struggles and problems you endure in silence which <laughs> I guess everyone has different ways of how they like to deal with their problems. This is what the strong friend tends to do. And you're the dumping ground basically for people's problems. And it can become very, very heavy. Especially if, you're, if you don't have the mental capacity. And people are just 
dumping 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 and then you're just receiving 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 and you don't even have the mental capacity but you're still receiving you're still receiving so this is why it's really key to um set boundaries and I, i've done a video on like setting boundaries and all of that stuff um in the past so do check it out so i think the most important thing is how do you deal with it how have i dealt with it and the way i've dealt with it is asking for help like do not be embarrassed to ask for help i remember asking for help. I, i'm still you know I'm, I'm still getting there because i still find it hard to ask for help sometimes but i'm getting there <laughs> yeah asking for help and you just never know you actually just never know and um it's okay to tell your friends that you're struggling like um, if you ask me how are you i just say i'm fine if you don't ask problem questions if you don't you know hey you won't know i'll just say i'm fine and i think that's a habit that a lot of us do but if you are struggling do mention that you are struggling especially to somebody that you trust you just never know find ways to fill up your tank yes Find ways to fill up your tank to recharge you. Do the things that you like and the things that you enjoy. And like have you time, have alone time, have self-care time. Do you get what I mean? Pour into yourself because I always say that how are you able to pour to others if you can't pour into yourself? Do you get what I mean? How can you be the best to others if you're not the best to yourself? So that as well. And set boundaries. It's really, really key. Set boundaries. If that means your phone going on do not disturb at a certain time, set that. Don't be afraid to do that. But like, there's there's nothing wrong in setting boundaries for yourself at the end of the day. I'm sure that you'll really, really benefit from it. But anyways, <laughs> I got to go. I got to go because I'm running late. And I'm keeping myself accountable because I said I'll be doing videos for you guys. Eh? I said I'll be doing videos for you guys. Uh -huh. I'm going out and I'm here filming, but it's all for you guys. So I just had to do it. So anyway, I really hope that this video was useful. I really hope that it has helped. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe and make sure you support a sister. Until next time.